Anyway. All right, so a continuous improvement system, we must have measurement. I like, I love, from my experience, Pareto's and trends because it, it helps us make decisions. Why? Because we know what to go after. We can't fix everything. We don't have the resource for everything. But we do need to know where we should focus our efforts. And the trends, what do trends tell us? If we have a trend in the data, what does that tell us? If we're managing. Don't be engineers right now, be managers. We got problems or we're improving. We evaluate our system. Are they fixing things? Is it getting better? If you see your data and you have a problem in your data and it goes straight across, they're not affecting anything. If it deteriorates, problems. You might have to say something like Dick Enneman said to me, Tom, do I have the right guy running this area? Right? But you need that information as a manager to know whether your, your areas are improving or not. Those are both very powerful. Visual on the floor for all people to see. Everybody needs to know how are we doing. Lowest level involvement. And when I say lowest, I don't mean that in a derogatory way. I mean it represents process. Processes involved. The people that run the process, that add value, that physically change the product, they must be involved. Management standard work. What is it that managers do every day consistently? What do they do weekly, daily, monthly, and scripted to make sure that the organization is addressing problems? Responsibility. Who is going to take care of the problem for us? By name, not department. Larry. Larry's supposed to do this. Larry works for maintenance. Larry represents maintenance, but it's not going to say maintenance. It's going to say Larry because somebody's got to talk to us about it. And accountability. Everybody must perform, just like a sports team, right? Uh, by the way, War Eagle. Oh, you saw something historic Saturday. They set a lot of records, I think. That was incredible. Uh, measurement, SQDCM, safety, quality, delivery, cost, morale. These are the high-level metrics that drive the organization. And we used this at Chrysler, and I thought, hey, that's kind of cool. SQDCM, I know. I know Chrysler must not have come up with this. And I, I, don't, I didn't know where the root was. And you couldn't find it. I mean, I really had trouble finding where this came from, but I've seen it many times. Tata Motors in India, they use this. And a lot of companies I've seen use SQDCM because it's really supposed to encompass the universe. If I have high-level metrics on these categories, the lights get brighter, everybody's happy, products blowing out the door. Because we're driving the Pareto items, we're driving the trends and improving. Anyway, um, we'll get to where that comes from. Come, I found this in Suzaki's book, The New Shop Floor Management. So I thought, okay, here's, here's some foundation of where this came from. This must be the root of it. He says, define clearly the key items and satisfying customers. And here's this exhibit for the needs of the customer tree. Quality. Function, service, cost, operating cost and overhead, and delivery, delivery, on-time delivery, lead time, lead time, shrink the lead time, be responsive. Okay, so there's QCD. And, then, and you'll see QCD in some organizations, and you won't see the S necessarily. It'll be managed separately. And many of them, you won't see the M, especially in American companies. It's not that important. Morale. We're paying you. We don't have to work on that. All specific items may be covered under three broad headings. If we satisfy our customers continuously with high-quality products, or service at less cost and with shorter and more timely delivery than competitors. We should do well. That's that theory. We're covering the universe. We get the, the ideal high-level metrics in these categories. We can't help but to improve if we have a continuous improvement set, uh, system. And then uh, Suzaki says, since all employees in the organization may be viewed as customers from the total company point of view, their needs must be satisfied. Therefore, if we had safety and morale to address employee concerns, and he writes it QCDSM. Chrysler wrote it SQDCM. And then I finally found it. This is where this comes from. So this is a discipline, and you'll see it in lean organizations here and there, having these metrics. It's not easy to do, by the way. How easy it is to get data and measurement. And, and those of you going into senior design, you'll find this out too. Very hard to get good data. Very difficult. <laughs> if we focus on these five items, we should be able to cover most of the major concerns of the organization. 